Hi everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to import first person controls from a local file into 3JS. First person controls lets you steer the camera with the mouse. It's basically a, a different version of fly controls. You can change the view of the camera by moving your mouse to where you want to look at and you can go forward by pressing the left mouse button and go backwards by pressing the right mouse button. There's basically four steps to import first person controls. First we have to download the file. Second we have to put the first person controls file into our local directory. Third we have to change the path inside first person controls to find 3 module JS in our directory. And fourth we just have to add some code to our program to make it work. So let's download the file. Let's google Mr. Doob 3JS GitHub. This is where the latest releases can be found. Click on that. Okay, we want to look in the examples folder and then the JSM folder and the controls folder. Okay, and we want first person controls. So I'll just click on that. And here is the file. So we want the raw file. Click on that. And now we have our first person controls file as a text file here. So let's right click it and hit save as so we can save it on our device. You see it's saving it as a JavaScript file already. Just hit save. All right, now I have it on my device. So now we should put this file in our directory. So I have a folder called modules where I'm putting all my JavaScript mod modules. You need a way to organize files because we're going to be using images and objects. And I'm just going to drag and drop my first person controls into my modules folder. Now we need to change the path. If you click on first person controls and it opens up here, if you look at the text here, it says import it's importing these things from the build folder where 3.module.js usually is. But in my directory, 3.module.js is not in the build folder. It's in my modules folder. So I have to change this path where 3.module.js is in my directory. I'm going to leave the double dot and the backslash because that means it's going up to a parent directory. So I want it to go up to the parent directory and then into the modules folder where 3.module.js is. Now first person controls can find 3.module.js and it will run. So now we just got to add some text to our program uh, to make it work. So I'm going to show you with the canvas element and without the canvas element. So first without the canvas element, my canvas element here is grayed out. So we're going to import it in the script tag where we are importing our 3.module.js. So now we've imported it into our program. So now we need to start it up and update it. I'm creating a new instance of the first person controls. I'm storing it in the variable FP controls. And I have to pass in two things, the camera and the render.dom element, which is the canvas that 3GS creates when you do not define a canvas. And inside the animate loop, I have to update it. So I'm going to update the first person controls variable and put update. And then inside that in brackets, you're going to put the time step value. And basically, the lower the number, the slower it will move. And the higher the number, the faster it will move. And these numbers are very low. Like one is, is kind of fast already. And if you have defined a canvas element here, the only thing that will change is what you pass into this new first person controls instance. You're going to pass in the camera and the canvas because the canvas has been defined by us and everything else is the same. The update is the same and the import statement is the same. And that's how you can use first person controls in 3JS.